I just got this email from uh, someone at the Medin Center in Cairo. Um, the Mubarak has gone, the regime, regime remains. We still have the same cabinet appointed by the dismantled president. The emergency state is still in force. Old detainees are still uh, in detention. The new one since the 24th of January remain missing. There is no public apology for the killing. We hear several executives are being prosecuted, including Ministry of Interior, Habib El Adli. A process not transparent. Parliament has still not been dissolved, nor the Shura Council that are uh, Are we having the bar? Is it without the bar? Is that what the people of Egypt are looking at now? Well, this is the first day of uh, uh, return to normalcy in Egypt, and uh, I think there are many issues uh, that need to be clarified. Uh, both the Supreme Military Council and the other uh, institutions of government have conveyed their apologies and their uh, condolences for the, uh, those demonstrators that have lost their lives or have been injured. So I think all Egyptians uh, value their sacrifice and, and they will honor them. Uh, the uh, latest communique issued by the Supreme Council is a clear indication of uh, a road towards reform. Uh, they have uh, set a specific time frame for new parliamentary and presidential elections uh, much earlier than I think most people expected in the span of six months and uh, the, the establishment of a committee to amend the constitution so that elections can be held uh, under uh, free and, and inclusive as, uh, as uh, the demonstrators have requested. Uh, the, there are many uh, issues that are resolved. Egypt is on a new path. Uh, the, uh, uh, demonstrators of the Egyptian people have spoken and uh, I'm sure that any government will be uh, very uh, susceptible to implement all of those reforms. Uh, the government is in place, it is basically a, a technocratic government, it is uh, one that will, uh, is taking its on its responsibility uh, uh, in an interim period uh, and one that will uh, direct itself towards the day-to-day -day activities. So uh, we are uh, again on uh, reform uh, path and uh, I think that in all fields uh, we will see uh, as time goes by a very uh, important and uh, definitive uh, indications of, the, uh, of that, uh, that path. What's the government Thank you very much. reaction to, Thank to, you. to the Swiss government uh, taking the property? I, I really property. have another interview. M Mr. Ambassador, is the Muslim Brotherhood a terrorist organization, sir? Um, the Muslim Brotherhood uh, is, has been recognized in the reform process as part of the uh, political uh, landscape of Egypt. It uh, was at the table uh, with other uh, opposition leaders in uh, formulating the way ahead. Uh, it had the representation in the demonstration uh, and the movement. Uh, and uh, I hope that they will participate in the political sure. life uh, as other political entities do uh, in, in uh, in helping Egypt in this reform program. But are they a terrorist organization, sir? Uh, uh, no, uh, they are part of the Egyptian uh, in political environment and they have uh, re renounced the use of force uh, and I don't think that uh, in terms of their uh, their uh, policies that they are uh, interested as all Egyptians in the best uh, welfare of the Egyptian can they, people. Can they, can they trust the United I, States? Can the United States I, government I, trust them like uh, they trust President Mubarak? I, I think you have to ask them that. Thank you for your Thank time, you. Ambassador.